I'm Cass Kamachi, and today I'll be showing a sketchbook and some ink uh, from a, I guess, a mini art hall sort of thing? I, I don't know. I found some cool ink and I needed a sketchbook for a certain project, so I thought I would show, you know, stuff. So, first, I'll show the is it Crescent render no show through paper it says i can use this on well all media all media look at that it shows a spray paint can i'll have to come back uh edit a video in here later maybe with some uh spray paint yeah spray paint uh, now it does show that, you know, there's no, it's not supposed to be any sort of bleed on this. It does seem like a fairly, you know, decent, somewhat thick, not overly thick paper. It's very nice and smooth. It's very good for markers. Uh, I'll have to try some watercolor on this, but I'm going to try some ink as well. Definitely going to be inking in this. Um, what I'm planning on is this was going to help me with uh, physically, not just, you know, digitally, but traditionally physically, trying to outline uh, a novel I've been writing to keep all my ideas and plots, thoughts in here. Uh, and the other thing... ink. We'll just toss that to the side and pick it up later. This is the, uh, I'm gonna mess up the pronunciation of this because I can't pronounce anything. Uh, Daler Rowney? Daler Rowney? Daily? Da Daly? Da Valor. Valor? I'm terrible at pronouncing things. But it's an a fluorescent blue acrylic ink and it came in a uh, couple other couple other colors uh, it was tempting to get the green but I already have a green ink from Amsterdam uh, and it's an acrylic ink it already glows under black light and then I'll play I'll show this one as well just so you can have a slight comparison uh, perhaps I probably should have picked up the green. It probably was a different hue. I can always go back and get another bottle because I love collecting ink. In fact, I would love to get more of this stuff, too. This stuff is awesome. Uh, first, though, I'll probably show in my other sketchbook here what the ink looks like. Uh, this is... What is this? B paper. Uh, B paper, B creative marker type. Uh, again, has a nice smooth paper. And I, I just prefer the smooth paper to the textured paper. I'm not quite sure why, but for most of what I do, I, I really like the smooth paper. Uh, perhaps it's because I... I'm really used to using smooth bristle board. Bristle board? I'm probably mispronouncing that too. And while I have this open, I can also show you. Uh, let's see here. I can show you a bit of how the Amsterdam green ink looks here. As you can tell, the. Uh, so it's a really nice, vibrant green, and I absolutely love it. it. It's perfect for this sort of glow effect, which, speaking of glow, uh, if you don't mind hitting the lights, kitties, thank you. Uh, let's hope the camera picks this up well. This is what the Amsterdam green is like. 
as you can see, it's a nice glow. And let's look at the blue here. It's also got a really nice glow. I love glowy things. Hi. <laughs> Don't get sucked into the mesmerizing glow of ink. Okay. So, would you like to hit the lights? Thank you. So, let's see how this works. Let's get to a blank page here. And then I'll try to work a little bit on this one. hit the switch. There we go. How's that? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if the blue glows more than the paper. I mean, yeah. Although that there is watered down. But even watered down, the Amsterdam green is still pretty vibrant. Maybe it'll show up more on this other paper, which uh, doesn't quite glow as much as, or maybe, actually, you know what, no, uh, just barely glows a little bit less than the B paper. 
So I might do something real quick in that and see how that does. Uh, let's, let's take a little bit of the blue unwatered down. Well, it glows in the uh, palette over here. Definitely. Perhaps it's just this paper that's not working too well with it. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool, I think, anyway. Uh, the little fairy or uh, wisps or whatever you want to call them in this, they glow pretty well. I can, I can definitely find some things to do with this glowing paint. And you want to see something really interesting? Here's the water I was using just for the sink itself. And again, my paintbrushes also have a nice glow to them, too. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to, uh, do a jump cut for, uh, washing all this up. Well, most of it. The brushes, anyway. And then I'll get to the other sketchbook. Ah, you know what? My signature doesn't show up. <laughs> that is bright white gel pen. Does not show up. <laughs> so I might try, I might still try to get the other uh, fluorescent colors of uh, this stuff. But I definitely, definitely really like the Amsterdam uh, reflex colors. I don't remember the exact price for these. Um, I'll have to look it up and tell you after the jump cut. But I think they were like six or seven, maybe eight dollars each. But I could be very wrong. When I hit the switch, it is. And there we have it in uh, the normal. I mean, I actually thought this. You know what? That is a very dark blue without the black light on. It does glow more than I think it does. Again, this is very watered down here. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh... I thought it was going to be a lot thicker. I thought it was going to be thick like the Amsterdam ink, but... No, it was just a little bit thinner than, you know, I'd like. But that's not a bad thing either, because then I can layer more as long as it doesn't go through the paper, which I was actually kind of worried about with that black ink I was using <laughs> as uh starting to fade through this paper which it, it's this paper is not exactly made for heavy amounts of liquid it's actually made for markers which you probably guess uh, so jump cut and we'll get to the other sketchbook all right now or onto the the sketchbook, I think. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and do just mostly this ink because I think I got a little carried away with with uh, most people would know. I I tend to get a really carried away with black ink. Uh, this is handy art black velvet uh, India ink. I think that's actually my first time using this one, and it's not actually that bad. I kind of forgot I had it because I normally use uh, this brand Sumi ink, which I know it's not waterproof, but uh, it does come in this really nice bottle. But uh, due to it not being waterproof, it does add for a really nice. Uh, oh, what you call it? What do you call it? Uh. It's like a 
watercolor effect, but was inking. I'll remember the word later and think, oh yeah, that's the word. Why didn't I say that in the video? Put that back in the art cart. So, we're back to this. The render no show through paper from Crescent. Yep. Um, I forgot to look up the price on the ink. I have to say I put that at the end of the video. And I'll try to remember the price of the sketchbook too. But first things first, let's slip off the paper. Perfect. No rips. First, we're going to sticker this. Not tall hell, I'll do that later, probably off camera. Because my sketchbooks... Let me hammer a little bit more here. My sketchbooks, as you can see, are usually pretty full of stickers. Let's see here. Just random ones I've collected over time. Uh, I really love these ones, like uh, this one and this one, which are from independent artists. And back, my Twitter handle, if you want to follow, you don't have to, it, I, it's just a thing. And uh, my Nick Valentine stickers that I designed, I absolutely love these. I got them through uh, Sticker Mule over here. So, yeah, I tend to sticker my sketchbooks, and this one's probably going to be no different. But I'm hoping maybe I can design some stickers to go with the... What did I get on this? Only had it a couple days, and I already got stuff on it. There we go. I'm hoping to design some stickers to go with the novel, or book, or books, or... No, I'm just going to say story that I've been trying to... Oh, there, right? there we go. been trying to write, and... It, it was in a comic format for a while, and it's still up on the internet, but, uh... It helps to have it fully written out before you jump ahead and start drawing pages, which I'll probably end up having to uh, completely redo that from the beginning, uh, once I get everything else done. So, Cass... Kenmachi with a smiley face. I know, kitties, but I can't ride upside down, you know. <laughs> With my my lovely assistant, spouse, and general foxy person, Kitty's Ion. Kitty's, would you like to say hello? He says hello. Kitty's, would you like to say hello? <laughs> Thank you. That was Kitty's. Round of applause. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm gonna just take a page or two here. Normally, no. It has, this sketchbook has everything I wanted except one thing. I was hoping for a spiral. Uh, let me go grab this one again. A spiral bound spine because then I could easily just flip it around, flip it over, and clip stuff into it. So I can just keep adding more till it's stuffed full. But this is as close as I could get to what I wanted, so it, it will have to do. I'm trying to think, what can I do with blue? And the only thing I can think of is, let's see if I can design a robot. Oh, what you got, kitties? Water? O2? 
ocean? This is my sketchbook for my thoughts for uh, my story. Sure, I shouldn't do a robot. Thumbs up? Thumbs up? Good. Y you want to give the camera a thumbs up? There, see, he's an actual person. I'm not magically making this paper appear on the camera. What, yes, kitties? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, kitties, your vote. What type of robot? TV head or, you know, uh, humanoid or more mechanical? Alright. But I don't have any glowing red ink. I know. I should have picked up the glowing red too. Maybe another time. TV head it is. As you drop sound. It didn't bleed, but I do notice that uh, 
too much water uh, causes the paper to absorb it in a way uh, that I don't much care for. I mean, it feels almost like the paper will come apart, but it seems to be pretty sturdy. And then once it dries, it, it starts looking, you know, normal again. Alright. And the page kind of curled. I think I might have done that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, here's our guy. And uh, I know I. Let me get this water out of the way. Just to make sure I don't uh, spill water all over my desk. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. That was a squeak. Involuntary squeak. Don't ask. Uh, here's our TV guy who seems to be a uh, TV host. I, I had this idea a few months ago um, for a, a, a TV host. It, not really a main character or anything, but you know, the, you never know that could change. I could have him more in the story, but mostly just a background character for world building and, you know, something you might spot on the TV or hear about being on the TV. Um, so, and I don't really have any proper concepts for him yet, so this is the first time I'm just like, huh, I wonder what a TV head, TV host would look like. So, uh, I, you could probably tell that uh, at one point we tried the lights off just to see how this would look because I thought, hey, why not uh, turn the light? Not yet, cuties. You're jumping the gun. <laughs> Thank you, but you're just a little bit ahead. Uh, not yet. No. Don't pull the, don't pull the lever yet. <laughs> uh, the blue didn't show up very well. I don't know if it shows up better on the camera. We'll have to see, uh, you know, afterwards. But uh, it, it's almost blended into the paper, the white paper. And I don't know if it's that I'm using this ink wrong. Because the ink in the palette glows. It glows. But once I put it on the paper, it doesn't seem to glow as well. Oh. Sorry, I had that a little too far back. Thank you, kitties. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh. And I also had this thought, hey, I got a little bit of leftover ink. Why don't I combine the colors I have? And there we go. I got this sort of, uh, not olive. It's not forest. It's not quite, uh, I, I don't quite know how to put it, but it's the kind of green that you'd see like on a uh, corduroy pants or even um, cargo pants. So, and, and this is almost dry. Nice. It does seem like somewhat sturdy paper. It's a, I don't like the curling, but I'm sure once I have it closed, it'll eventually flatten back out. All right, cuties, would you like to flip that lever? Oh, I could have gotten that, but thank you. All right. How's that glow? Wait. Oh, I do see. Oh, let me make sure I don't. Uh, yeah. I do see that this TV here actually does glow brighter than the rest. Wait. Did I use the green in that? I think I used the green in that, didn't I? Uh, this is a different color from the rest, so is this. 
Uh, there's a bit of glow to the tie between the green. And I think the shoes kind of glow a little bit. It's not as much of a glow as I would like, but it's not bad. But then again, if I remember right, I could be horribly wrong. But if I remember right, I think blue doesn't quite glow as easily as green or uh, other uh, kind of colors. Uh, I'll have to try some of the other uh, the other shades of this to see how well they glow. Then again, it could really be this paper. I might have to go to my bookshelf over there and pull out one of my old sketchbooks to see if I can get this to glow better. Uh, as you can see, it does glow pretty well in the um, the paint palette. You can also see the uh, the paint where I mixed it together. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here we go. Boop, boop. So, yeah, I I don't know. It it's I don't want to say it's bad. It's not bad. It's probably me, but it's not bad. I like it. I, I like the color, even if I can't get it to glow very well. I like the color. I have. Then again, I like blue, and who can go wrong with blue? Uh, I might try in the future to get some more of these, like I said, and see if I can get those to glow better. Uh, let me put that down before I get things all glowy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this paper did seem pretty well. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. And I think it will work for what I want. Uh, I'll have to do some more testing later and hope that this curling isn't a continuous thing because uh, this stuff here, the paper, uh, took a lot less, or a lot more, how would you put it? The paper does seem a little bit thicker and it seems to have taken a lot more without without curling. As you can see, I put a lot more liquid on the page here. Now I do have to say that this one did almost bleed through, while this one here did not. Uh, the curling is a bit of an issue. I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to complain. Uh, not, not this, uh, there you go. This here, which does look pretty awesome under a black light, this was, um, when I did for Mermaid last month, and it's acrylic paint, and almost went through, as you can see, but the page barely curled. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe once I have this one closed, it'll flatten back out. Hopefully. Who knows? I'm not a professional. I don't... Uh, yeah, I am no professional. I am totally not a professional. I just do this for fun, and I guess a living which should make me a bit of a professional, but it, I'm not a professional. I throw things on a wall and see if it sticks. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what else to say. Greg, or cut that out. Kitties, would you mind getting me my brown sketchbook? While well, Kitties gets that, let me close this, which... <laughs> the curled page is making the book pop open. Yes! Thank you. This is a very, 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 very old sketchbook. Like, uh, I don't know, probably 
going on what six seven uh probably about six or seven years old now I don't know if I have any actual full-on blank pages in here, but I can try. If anything, I'll just ink in something. Let me flip through some pages first. Okay, this should probably work. <clears throat> this is a page that wasn't fully used up. I love keeping all of these old sketchbooks because you never know when ideas will come back. Plus, it's good to see when your progress, your how your progress has been going. But mostly for me, I think it's because I like keeping my old ideas. I don't really want to like. Okay, enough playing with that. Let's let's try this ink here. See if it was just the paper or if I'm really doing something wrong. Give my tiny hands. There we go. Oh yeah, that is nice. That that does glow a lot nicer on this paper, doesn't it? It's probably soaking through. <laughs> oh, not yet. Okay. I don't know how long that will have to dry on here. Okay, yeah, it is starting to soak through a little. Take a little bit of this reflex green. I should let that dry a bit more. Have any more of this left? Okay. Still dark. Nope, still too dark. Okay. I really like that. Let me turn this around for you. If I don't hit anything. Okay. So the blue does work. It was just that the paper was too light and glowed way too bright under a black light. Uh, <laughs> so it was me. It was the paper. Uh, it does work really well. Unfortunately, the blue doesn't glow too well on bright paper under a black light. Which I guess I should have known that. <laughs> but on brown paper, it looks really 
really awesome. Like, whoa. Don't want to spill the ink. That is really cool, actually. I, I kind of want to see what I can do with that later on. Um, make sure this didn't bleed through. Doesn't look like it bled through. Okay, that's also pretty cool. I don't know what marker I used on that. Like I said, this book is like six or seven years old. So, <clears throat> there we go. That was, uh... Kitties, would you be so kindly as to get the lights? Cool, Haliba! Boop. Okay. And would you like my sketchbook? Thank you. Oh, you know what? I should have let that ink dry. But it's fine. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I really like that that shade, even if I don't get it to work right on white paper. But here we go. This is the uh, fluorescent ink. And if you give me just a moment, I can get the prices on this and. This, the Amsterdam ink. All right. So after looking at the prices, uh, there's only a few cents difference between them retail. Um, <clears throat> this one is going for seven ninety nine U.S. retail. I think I got it a little bit cheaper than that because it was on sale. And this one was seven ninety five US retail. Uh, this one I actually got in a back order box from um I can't remember the name. I've still got one of the boxes down here, so uh Art Snacks. I don't know why I wanted to say snack box. That's not quite right. I'm pretty sure that's a different thing. Uh, art snacks. Uh, I got it out of a back order box from Art Snacks. <clears throat> I think it was one of their boxes from last year, which, unless they've already sold out, uh, they're currently got a 50% sale going in their shop for last year's back order boxes if you want to try them. I can see if I can put a link down in the video below. And I think that's it. We have Awesome Glow. Awesome Glow. I was using the wrong kind of paper. I, you know, I for these glowing inks, what I should do is invest in one of those sketchbooks with the black paper on it. Which, kitties, I think you were trying to hint that I should get some of that anyway. So there's an excuse. So, yep, there we go. I think I actually did more than I meant to, uh, considering I also had this stuff here. The Handy Art Black Velvet Waterproof India Ink too. I don't know why it is I never got around to using this. I guess because I just emptied one of my other bottles of ink, and this was a backup. And I think that's it. Uh, I'll see you next time in the next video. Something like that.